What's going on guys? Today I would like to share the knowledge of how to discover all users under Linux environment and start to monitor some things inside each user's profile. In order to accomplish this lab, it's required to have at least Zabbix 4.2 server running and agent spinning with allow root enabled. User discovery will be based on the content inside etc password where we can always find out the username of the user and also what is the location of home directory. Moving towards to the implementation, opening up the front end, going to the configuration templates. I have here the template with name bash my SQL history low level discovery. The link to the template is also available in video description. Let's open the discovery section for this template. It contains one discovery. Looking forward what it does. This discovery is picking up the content from file etc password. The magic happens in the preprocessing tab where we have six steps to transform the content from this input file. In the end there will be a two-dimensional JSON array. Let's find out how the transformation ends after each step because starting with version 4.2 Zabbix allows us to follow each preprocessing step. In order to test the preprocessing I have to have the content which will be fetched by the item. I will now print the content directly from the command line and copy it to the clipboard. Navigating back to the front end, there is a button test all steps. In the value field, I will paste the content from clipboard. Apply. And finally hitting the test button. Now Zabbix shows what is the transformation result after each preprocessing step. In first step, I'm extracting the lines which end just exactly with keyword bash. In the second step, I'm moving towards to prepare a JSON forward by replacing this bash thing at the end with the content I'm highlighting now. In the third step, I'm cutting the content in the middle and replacing with content I'm highlighting now. In the fourth step, I do insert additional content at the start of each line. Here is the replacement. On the fifth step, I'm inserting additional content just exactly on the very first line only. This is because right now Zabbix low level discovery accepts only the JSON which starts with data array. And the last step. I'm deleting the comma from last line and closing the array with square parentheses and curly parentheses. Everything is cool now. I should test if this is a valid JSON. For this purpose, I have a second tab with jsonlint.com opened and to validate my thing. Pasting the content over here. Hitting validate JSON and voila, it's a valid JSON format. The first dimension is identifying the username. The second dimension identifies the user's home directory. Now I can advance from the point of the home directory and start to create some item prototypes. Going back to Zabbix instance opening the section item prototypes. One item will take care of backing up the bash history. Maybe you did reinstall your operating system and you would like to find out what commands did you use previously. Another thing, if the user is using MySQL client to work with the database, then there is a separate file to pick up MySQL history. In both examples I'm using log rt item. 
the benefit of log RT item over the log item is that the log RT item will not go in an unsupported state if the file does not exist. Apart from storing bash and my SQL history in Zabbix database, I am also backing up the .bashrc file. This can be useful if you are addictive for creating your own bash aliases. It's really important to have a preprocessing enabled for this backup item. Please make sure you have discard unchanged enabled under preprocessing tab. Okay, one example how the history looks for bash. Going to monitoring latest data. Here we are having two users, root and user with title user. Clicking on history and selecting last 500 values. And here is the history. Okay, that is all I wanted to show you today. Hope you like it. In the meantime, remember to stay creative and see you next time.